Howdy partners, welcome back to Half-Life 2. So, uh, we're in a tunnel. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know how much driving there is left, but, um... Yeah, I'm feeling pretty refreshed. Oh, see... No, no, piss off. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, what's up here? Uh... Something charred? Tasty? I don't know. So, some sort of... I see you over there. Douchebag. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, nice light sourcing. How fancy. Alright, what's in here? Nothing. <laughs> or maybe there is something in there, but I can't open it. Oh, it's everything proof. Got it. Alright, fine. Whatever. Was that a lambda locator thing? It didn't actually pay attention to achievements. Not that I'm going to end up getting that in this playthrough anyway, or possibly ever. But, oh well. Uh -huh. Oh, hi. <laughs> I like barrels. They're fun. What? What are you doing, bro? Alright. Oh, what? I completely zoned out there. Alright. More tanky shit. And again, this is why I'm not playing this on hard. Okay, seriously, can you... Can you stop? Alright, well. Let's do something with a little bit more power, I guess. Okay. Although this does kind of look like it might be a potential physics playground, so, um... I don't know. Wait, there's that... Come on. Oh, you son of a... What are you doing? <laughs> Get shot a few times, takes out his frustration on that poor vehicle. Sad. Alright, what was I doing again? <laughs> Driving? Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, let me mm, grab some ammo. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, I probably should have been using the SMG that whole time, but... Do I have to go up there? Can I just push through there? Whatever. Let's just... I don't know what I'm doing, in case that wasn't obvious. I mean, all this stuff does move if I push it. Oh yeah, gravity gun will probably do something. Yeah, it's been a little while since I played this, so don't mind me. Dude, 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 dude. Alright, that should be good. Alright, phenomenal. Submachine gun. Let's not forget about that again. There we go. And another loading screen? Or just... Uh, probably bloom o'clock. Yep, there we go. And out we go. No load screen. Hallelujah. Although I think that sub, like, little tunnel area was just after a loading screen, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, right. Hmm. Oh, this gun is so loud. Nope. Slow down. Let's go. Over here. Yep. There we are. Holy crap, that turbo. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go over here. <laughs> Wasn't really my original intent, but you know what? That's fine. Alright. Handbrake, and... That dude was wall hacking. Did you see him? He was trying to shoot me through the wall? Bullshit. Whoa, um, hello visual glitches. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, what do we got in here? Did I see some boom? No, I didn't. Uh, nope, no boom. I do see suit recharge, that's quite nice. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Is this gonna be one of those things where I just go to the upper floor, there's a few things, and then I get ambushed? Running into some... Interesting visual glitches. <laughs> Alright, nifty. Oh, you fuck... fucker. Not actually... hmm. So... yeah. Later, loser. <laughs> Is there another one? Did it blow up? Did it go boom? No, didn't go boom. 
just kind of... Later. Oh. So it's just all for a crossbow, which I already had. So I'm going to go ahead and just bully this chest a little bit. Perfect. Window successfully broken. Hole in the wall. Or ceiling. Can I just go... Hmm. Shortcut. Kinda. Oh, come on. These things are so annoying. I know that's the intent, but geez. You don't gotta do that, okay? Alright, well. There's that boat over there. Oh, fine. Get your freaking roly-poly ass over here. Later! I wonder if that's one of the ones they yeeted off to the whatchamafudget. Okay. Is there anything on this little ship here? Aside from a roly-poly ball that is going to get yeeted into the ocean like that? Hey, <laughs> hey. Get wrecked, scrub. I think I... Yep. Heard you. Alright, well, there's things over there. Can I... That's a... Yeah, probably not. Right. Well, that's just health. Alright, well, that was kind of a bust. Oh, well. <laughs> Poor loot. Zero out of ten. Worst game ever. Uh, get... Oh, let me get up there, please. There we go. Alright, back to the old jalopy thing. And the janky physics and the craziness. Let's go! Should be able to get on the road here. Let's avoid turbo because... Oh, what the hell. Let's have a little bit of fun. Fun, in quotes. Yes, get tickled to death. Is there really no way to destroy those things aside from just launching them into the ocean? I mean, you can... Oh, go away. Ah, uh, you annoying pains in the ass. I mean, I would think doing enough damage to him should do that, but it doesn't seem to. So yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's just drive into a uh, ye olde base here and see what's up. Aside from all those stupid things. You're supposed to do that when the vehicle's passing over it, you noobs. Oop. Maybe I should adjust my sensitivity a little bit. It's a little bit, uh, hyper. Or maybe I'm just used to Doom, because that has a bit more of a, uh... I don't want to say sluggish. Definitely feels a little slower. Yeah, give me that. More refined. Maybe not more refined. I don't know. Yep. Okay. Hmm. You know, you guys are not defending a whole lot here. I gotta say. And they are really piling on the health kits. So, so far, my opinion hasn't really changed all that much. These, uh... Road Warrior parts are... A bit... Wow. That was, uh... <laughs> went a little rogue there. But yeah, these uh, Rogue Warrior parts are a little bit, uh, tedious. Anything up here? I mean, this is a... Very easily accessible area. Well, whatever. I can adjust the antenna. That's something people can do. Uh, nothing in here. What about this tower here? Nothing. So wait, how did that dude get over onto that ledge up there? Is he hacking? I think he might be hacking. What a douche. Oh, <laughs> there's a ladder. Oh, man. Man. Observation skills and stuff. And he just had a plain Jane SMG. That's kind of... It's kind of lame. He must have drew the short straw. I don't know. Alright, well, there's another checkpoint taken care of. Let's just go ahead and drive right through this. 
gate. There we go. And onward we go onto the Highway 17 or whatever this is. We're somewhere. I don't, I don't know. It's all admittedly starting to blend together a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot of bit. This looks somewhat promising. It's like I said before, this is just stop and go. It's, I don't know. Yeah, let's get out on foot. Be a little more tactical. I don't, I don't know. Mm, not seeing any dudes. Which means that uh, that ominous noise is probably, yep, there we go. Uh-huh. That's cool. So, yeah. We've got gunships. Of course we do. Now, do we have infinite whatchamafudgets? Infinite rockets, because that would be kind of swell. Uh, okay. Well, there's a battery. I'm sure that's probably how we're going to power the gates. And, uh, hello. Yeah, no grenade. That'd be illegal. There's people here. Right in the leg. Alright. Is that, is that it? It was like, okay. I was gonna say, if there were like two gunships and they just dropped off like three dudes, that would be uh, kind of hilarious. And what happened to this guy? I'm so confused. Alright. Well... There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this battery and make our way over this way, I suppose. Oh, for fuck's sake. See, that's the thing. Like, the uh, airboat section kept it fresh because it didn't really go on for that long. And, uh... Alright, this has got to go somewhere. Oh, okay. So, just follow the thing. Got it. But it didn't really go on for that long, and the diversions were more interesting. With this one, it's just legitimately, you... There we go. I did it. It's just like legitimately, you know, you go into your vehicle, you get out of your vehicle, you go into your vehicle, you get out of your vehicle. It's just... Oh, okay. I need all three of those, I see. It's very, very, very much stop and go. So I need batteries. Let's look like car batteries. Uh, hmm. Is there more in here? Can I even go in here? Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, ha! No, not the bed. You derp. Golden Freeman in the flesh. That's a cinder block. That's probably not gonna work. Uh, there you are. Fantastic. We open the gate. Don't we all feel so accomplished? I don't know. I think... Uh, there were a couple, like, decent parts with the buggy. I mean, it's not like it's all been bad. Like, I would say the beginning sections were stronger when you, um... Oh, for... F when they started introducing those stupid balls, things go just got... Annoying. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, it just feels like this has been going on for too long right now. And that's even with a break. I mean, we're still in this. I did like a, what was that, like an hour and 15 minutes or something in the buggy. We've been in the buggy for another 15 minutes. It's just, mm -hmm. this is not the strongest part of this game. I mean, it looks cool. It's kind of neat seeing this progression, but at the same time, it's... I don't know. That was, okay, thank God. I think we're almost at the end of this. But that was another thing with the airboat, is it was energized by... Uh, it was energized because you were being chased by the combine. It felt like you were legitimately just running for your life. You don't really get that same sense of urgency here. I think that's maybe why this is just feels so much worse. I don't know. Anyway, we might have dialogue coming up. We'll see. 
Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. Do I have to? <laughs> Alright, fine. Hmm, I don't suppose I've... Oh, there we are. Yeah. Actually, that's not... No, that's just normal ammo. Oh, you and your conventional crap. Alright. You know, battle-hardened theoretical scientist. That's my favorite part. Uh... Yeah, just stop. Just stop. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, okay. Short controlled bursts and shit. And just run straight towards them and kind of unload your magazine. Fantastic. We know how to fighting. Did that one dropship seriously just drop off that one guy, or did they take did they actually take care of a few of them? Oh, there's the dropship. More like drop shit, am I right? <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh yeah. Oh, there's another guy. That's kinda neat, I guess. Ah, uh, of course. Uh... Uh-huh. Got one. Teehee. Oh my god, get out of my way. Get the fuck out of my way. This is like playing a multiplayer game. This is terrible. Guys, stop it. Seriously. <laughs> Right, so we do have some dudes with the Overwatch which I'm a fudget, so let's go ahead and what, are you guys coming to block me again? Did they just take them maybe if they spent more time taking those dudes out and less time fucking blocking me? Uh okay. I don't need I don't really need ammo, trust me. I'm fine. Oh my god, stop it. <sighs> this is uh, pretty accurate, gotta say. Well, when you single shot it. It's kind of like the Doom Pistol. And... There we go. Dude, 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 give me ammo. <laughs> give me ammo for the good guns. Except they're not, because they're jerks. Alright. Well. There's the dudes at the lighthouse. Did I just, did I just see you spawn and... I think I did. Okay. Cool. I mean... Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's not... I mean, that might work, but... It's not a good idea. And, yeah. <sighs> Gotta say, armor is really effective in this game. Like, when you have suit power... Yeah, I, I know, I'm here already. You know, you, you say that there's rockets here, but... Do I have to climb the lighthouse? Is that it? Is there even a way to do that? Yes, I do. Okay, there we go. What's down? Now, nah, whatever. Ah, you're fine. Oh, I see. <laughs> no respect for glass. Beautiful. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the uh, uh, armor is actually incredibly effective in this game. You, It's kind of like Doom in that you really feel it when you uh, don't have it. Probably more so, I'd say, because an HEV suit has um, definitely got some absorb absorbative powers. All right. Yeah, maybe we should pay him. What? Okay, fuck you. Seems a little bit, uh, nutty that they could just... 
literally shoot at multiple targets at once, practically. Like, you'd think there'd be a little bit of a, uh, a thing where it has to change targets between Freeman and the missiles. Like, you can't just do a single shot randomly and hit the missile. Especially considering all the shit you have to go through to actually, um, avoid getting hit by those things. Oh, God. Alright. See, it's not so bad when they just do that and kind of behave semi-realistically. So, I mean, you'd think if they had a missile right on their six that they'd be a little more concerned about that than shooting at the guy... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit odd, I guess. Whatever. I mean, shooting the guy that is shooting the missile is important. Oh, whatever. But yeah, just, I don't know. If there's like a little bit more delay time between like when it changes targets, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, can you fuck off, please? Just, I don't know. <laughs> right along there and watch it. Right along where? Okay. So you said that before you actually opened the door. And I don't want to watch my step. Where's the fun in that? He says as he watches his step. Okay. Really? <laughs> That's got to be a Kasali thing right there. Uh. Oh, okay. And another nice little design thing is just marking the path that you need to go on with grass. It's a little thing, but it's effective. All right, here we go. Loading. I'm just glad to not be in that buggy anymore, honestly. I think that's where you start dealing with uh, ant lions on foot. I think it's like right over here. It becomes a little bit of a uh, physics thing. Someone's coming. You there! Stop where you are. Stay on the rocks. Don't step on the sand. It makes the ant lions crazy. Laszlo, don't move. No. Help! Stop right there, criminal scum. Oh, well. <laughs> What's gonna do? Another nice little tutorial segment, I guess. Okay. Well. Let me get ye old grav gun. Give me that. Thank you. And give me that pallet. Give. I do want that, uh thing too so come to me my pretty is that anything that is nothing literally nothing you've seen nothing okay so remember this being essentially a thing where you just have to kind of drop pallets to proceed more or less Mm hmm And again, one of those things where it's all kind of discoverable if you just pay attention to environmental clues. <laughs> Very classy, gotta say. Ugh. Not that the physics necessarily makes it easy, because it is just a... It does have just that little bit of jank to it, but... I mean, it's not too bad. Is that... Don't need you. What about you? Are you... No goodies? Well, kind of goodies. Not anything that I need. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Whoa. Yeah, you are kind of liable to just sort of slide off of things, unfortunately. I don't remember that being as much of an issue back when uh, Half-Life was still in the original version of Source. But, I don't know. It has been a very long time since I played that version, so, um... Can't really say for sure. See, now, if I remember correctly... I mean, this part is a little bit on the tedious side, but you do have that bit of pressure... ...to not mess up. 
and I don't remember it lasting all that long. So I think with a lot of people, when they say that they hate the vehicle segments in Half-Life 2, I think they're referring to the buggy. <laughs> Alright, we'll just take these just in case, and then just kind of move along. Yeah, see, like, right here, that was the training section. Fairly light, controlled environment. And this kind of gives me the uh, now-do-it-for-real type of thing. Where it kind of opens up a little bit. And uh, sort of lets you figure a lot of this stuff out on your own. Plus gives you a lot of rocks to stand on, so it's kind of cool. Kind of swell. Okay. And physics puzzles. I hate valve puzzles. There we go. There's probably stuff that I can grab if I explore over there. But, you know what? We're not going to do that. See, I had a I had lunch with my dad earlier today, and he ended up mentioning that it drives him crazy when I miss things that he knows are there. So um, now I'm going to go out of my way to not grab side items, just to torment him. Love you, Dad. All right, let's uh, get that. And that nope, nothing I could use. They do give you more ammo than you need, presumably so that if you end up, well, getting antlioned, it won't be as bad. Also, I think I might have just went to a bonus area by accident. Damn it! Oh well. Just put one foot in front of the other. Or one pallet in front of the other. Yeah, there you go. I also find it really amusing that the ant lines don't seem bothered with stuff like that. Just little pitter patters. I can yeet a box into the ground at full force, but um, yeah, they're fine with that. Just as long as it's not footsies. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. Here we freaking go. Yay, physics. Yeah, it does give you a like, liberal amount of items. It's not... They're definitely more interested in making sure that you have a good experience than uh, just outright killing you. Which is always nice. Honestly, I just wish that um, Hard and Half-Life were, I don't know, a bit less, like the enemies were a bit less tanky, that'd be nice. <laughs> I don't know if you're really intended to do this, but um, we're going to try. And we've already gotten this far. Here we go. Yay, bed frame. My savior. Or something. Another thing, too, is it kind of does have, like, the whole... Just more proof that Half-Life 2's sound design is just one of its most incredible features. Because, like, during this entire segment... Where you know what can happen if you step on the sand... You know, a bunch of... There you go. A bunch of bugs just... Ripping your flesh off and such... You can hear said bugs in the distance. You can hear... I don't know it's, if it's going to be really... Ah, what the fuck it. I don't know how um, noticeable it's going to be on the recording, but you can hear them chattering. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. Yeah, see? That's what happens when you mess with the free man. You get... wrecked. Boop. Good stuff. Ooh. Alright, so we got a house over there. We got a thing over there. 
Is there anything in the thing? There's that. Cool. Mm-hmm. Guess let's just go over to that house there. With the thing that looks like a generator. Yeah. Something something shotgun. Ugh. Oh, wait, I don't actually need that because I didn't take any hits because I'm phenomenal or something. So let's power the thumper. Yeah. Which the thing that I guess intimidates them or something. Yeah, that's right. You stay away from the thumper. Also get nuked. Or not. No, oh, trust me, buddy. I'd be scared, too, of this thing. Alright. So we got the server here. Thank you. Uh, doing okay on shells. What do you think was going to happen? And... It's like skeet shooting, except it's bugs. Kinda. Or pigeon shooting? I don't... I don't know. Alright, whatever. Let's go down into... I believe this is... Is this where you get the bug bait? Yep, sure is. Yay, boss fight. <laughs> Yay, boss fight. <laughs> ah, that's why you save rockets. And random vort. Hey, buddy. The free man must follow. The free men will do wise to heed our extraction of the Myrmidon's aromatic pheropods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore stand aside. <laughs> not entirely hygienic. Well, I'm wearing a hazard suit. And you're not, so uh you will have need of these pheropods on the paths ahead. Gather them now. Yay. Yeah, see that the thing with the ant lions. Nice, short and sweet. Took like, what, 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes to get through that whole thing. And now we get this thing. Squeezy, squeezy. Kind of gross, but that's okay. Ah, phenomenal. Slides in six. Yeah, bug bait. Squeezy, squeezy. Hello. Thank you. The man must excuse us. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose portal inputs are impaired. Yes, we will vocalize in your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. Unless we wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't think I've ever triggered that dialogue sequence. No prospect is just ahead. One man alone wouldn't stand much chance going in there. But a man with a pack of ant lines, well, that's a different story. Yeah, so much, just so much in this game. Yes, let's do this. Also the infamous thing where the NPCs walk somewhere between running speed and walking speed. So you just kind of have to tap the W key to actually stay behind them. The Freeman will now be instructed in the use of Theropods. Attend now and learn to shepherd ant lions with the so-called bug bait. The Freeman will now break out his Theropod and toss one into yonder pit. The Freeman has done well.
The free man can also coax his clients to attack specific targets. Observe the training mannequin and mark it well with another pheromone. The free man again excels at all tasks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. And give it a little squeeze to make him follow you. Now, attend well. Apply pressure to your pheromone to signal the outlines in your command to follow you. The free man shows his excellence in all things. And now, this one must bid the free man farewell. Nova Prospect lies just beyond. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. Alright, now let's show uh, the Eli Vance how misplaced his trust is. Alright, onward my brethren. One thing I noticed that this game lacks is a pet command. Why can I not... Why can I not pet my antlions? Bullshit. Alright, so... Loading. And let's just kind of move right along. Yep. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and there's four. Fantastic. Alright, so now I actually am incentivized to turn these things off. Oh, balls. Ah, oh, well. It's all good. And yet another nice little training sequence. You already learned what these things, or how the ant lines feel about these things. And now you're learning how to deal with them. Oh my goodness, these ladder... The ladder physics in Half-Life games are just, um... I don't know. I've seen worse. Can you imagine the uh, Combine being like really confused and wondering why in the hell Freeman's disabling all these things? Wrecked. Alright. <laughs> Don't fuck with arthropods, I guess? Oh, I see. Any... no? Nothing? Fine. You guys are going to need to go back, uh, that way. <laughs> and the music is, uh, pretty rocking, I gotta say. Alright, let's, uh... Another thing that's kind of nice, too, is that you don't really have to be super precise with those. You just kind of give them a rough idea of where to go, and uh, they go for it. Pretty nice. Give me those, and... Uh... Hmm. Did that disable the thumper? Oh, wait. There's a gun in there. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, please. Let the free man do his thing. There we go. The turrets are so effective. I like them. Yeah, alright. Let's disable this dude. And, um... Move onward to the beach. Alright, good stuff. That was a little unnecessary. That's okay. Can I actually hit those guys up there? No, I can't. They have a force field. Cheating bastards. Oh, wait, I can't get up there. Okay. Yeah, I guess let's just kind of make our way along here. We can... Alright, maybe not the most recommended way of doing that, but whatever. Okay, cool. Come to me, my pretties. Let's assault the tower thing. 
Actually, you know what? You guys have earned this. I'll let you guys take care of it. Or not. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let me just go ahead and search this. Ah, oh, poor, poor sweet baby. Man, this is one hell of a tower. Jeez. I'm starting to think those guys are cheating. Mm hmm. Oh, hell no. Nah. I haven't seen these guys in a while. Jeez. <laughs> Don't mess with ant lions. Holy shit. Yeah, you killed my babies. How would you store all these explosives down here? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, you do you, I guess. Do I have any guys left? Well, I do, but I can't throw it through that grade. I kind of figured I might be able to, but apparently not. Ah, uh, not my intent. Oh, well. Hmm. All right, what's in here? Probably one of those side areas I pledged not to go into. Yep, it is. Oh, well. Well, you know, accidents happen. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and use the uh, Overwatch thingy-mobop. Ooh. I see a turret. Ow. My face. Yep, no one down there. Just imagine just how many turret sequences this would have if it were like a Call of Duty game. Jeez, that was, uh... Those are some physics. Ooh. Guys, you're hurting my buddies. Let's go ahead and eat that over there. I uh, oh. <laughs> oh damn. Uh yeah, my buddy's mad, apparently. Alright, let's go. Oh wow, if you run into him they actually move. Weird. Is there any I'm gonna go with no. Let's rock and roll. Or something. Something along those lines. Alright, so my buddies should automatically start attacking. They are. Cool. And now I'm in here with a gun. Here, have fun. With gun. I do kind of wish there were some more opportunities for uh, turret usage. Although I guess this is fine. It's kind of just more of a matter of just noticing that they're there and... Uh, Handling them accordingly. Alright, cool. Here's a good buggy. You are. Alright, let's go. My health is looking pretty nice. But, yeah. That's another thing, too, is uh, a little nice incentive to actually use those things. They don't really give you a whole lot of resources on this path. I mean, aside from just, like, stuff that you grab from the Combine dudes... Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably a death pit. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there a... No, nah, maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Probably just a little thing I missed. Like this. Is there just a way in there? I mean, it's obviously how I have to go forward. Unless I'm just able to make that leap. I don't think I can, though. Yeah. I could use some Overwatch ammo anyway. Assuming these guys actually have it. Alright, shells. Good. Oh, hi. Alright. Let's go over to the place. After our sprint meter finish fills up. Finishes filling up. 
Okay. And over here. I mean, there's that water, but I kind of have a feeling I'm going to be severely... Oh, wait a minute. Oi. Somehow I didn't process that. Oh, well. We did now, and that's what matters. Definitely makes it a bit of a one-way thing, though. Buddies, they're on fire! What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that worked better than it had any right to. I just kind of... Yeah, there we go. Fall. What are you... Oh, fiddlesticks. There we go. <laughs> hmm. I think the only way that this could be better is if they would actually be able to fly you up there. <laughs> They're a little bit too small for that, I think. I just like how they have, like, enough autonomy to actually be very helpful. Oh, I didn't realize you're still alive. You killed my friends. Alright, well there's your... Alright. <laughs> It's kind of neat when it actually feels like you're sort of cooperating with them. Like, they're bullying someone and you just kind of shoot them. And then you hear that lovely pee. Yeah, good stuff. Ugh. Awkward terrain. Of course. Ugh, fucking annoying. Can you... I don't have a clear shot. Okay, now I do. Okay. Handled. Or something. Yeah, we're gonna go with handled. And... Mm. Hey, guy! Alright. So. I think this is where we're breaking into a prison. Or are we still just kinda... Finding our way... I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. Everybody up! Alright, yeah, we're uh, definitely in the walls. <laughs> Too easy. I know there's a little more left over there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Can I climb up there and use the gun? Kind of doesn't look like it. Ah! Hit him. How do they get up there? Okay. And why is there ammo just... On the prison grounds. That seems a little bit, uh... That doesn't seem like the best idea to me. Maybe I'm just not well-versed in the art of the Combine. Okay, I got that guy. Got that guy. And that guy. Not a whole lot of health left. Unfortunately. So let's just be a little bit careful. Maybe. Alright. What's our roll call? Holy moly. I like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, go uh, assault the outpost and stuff. Yay. Well, I'm getting close to that bug hut achievement. Oh man, oh, achievements. Kind of nice to see that they retroactively um, added them to this. Although it's really funny to consider that uh, this Half-Life 2's original release actually predates uh, Xbox Live achievements. Oh boy, that was not a good idea. This was not a good idea. Alright, we're fine-ish. Oh, 
testicles. All right, so this is uh, it's got some action and um, stuff. All right, so there are rockets scattered around. Okay. Probably not the best use of rockets, but oh well. Give me all this. Okay, never mind. I can use as many as I want. <laughs> okay. That was pretty fun. The thing I always find funny is I have seen people complain about, like, the action in Half-Life 2. But, I mean, there's some parts that are just straight up just... I mean, kind of like that. <laughs> Alright, don't hit the barrel. Maybe I should hit the barrel. Yeah, but my friend is near it. Okay. And I think one more. Maybe two. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, he hit the barrel. That's good. Oh, damn. Come on. Seriously? There we are. One man army? <laughs> okay, I gotta see what that's all about. Destroy six gunships. Okay. Uh, well, I have infinite ammo, so... <laughs> Let's, uh... Go ahead and take advantage of that, shall we? All right. Well, I think uh, I think we did a pretty good job of handling the situation. We had a few, you know, close calls here and there, but all in all, went pretty well. Thankfully, they did. They were very kind, and they left some health and supplies. So, um, yeah. Uh, here's I still hear dudes. Oh, right, you guys. <laughs> All right, cool. So we got the suit launcher thingy-mobopper. I think there was another set of dudes in one of those little things. Or was that the one? No, I just kind of circled around there shooting wildly, as you do. You know, sometimes it's... I gotta say, it's one of those things. Sometimes it's really fun to play dumb. Like, just absolutely just go in... Kind of like Sylvester or Stallone, Sylvester Stallone or, you know, Arnold, Schwar Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then just kind of raise a little bit of hell here and there. Or just basically run for your life for like five minutes and hope everything works out. I, I would say it was probably more like that, but um, it worked out. So. so there we go. And that's the way in, I'm assuming. But let's go ahead and just loot this area first. Okay, good. Pardon me. And, uh, in we go. I hate valve puzzles. Oh. Alright, so I guess we are, uh, kind of in Nova Prospect right now. <laughs> Hold up a second. All right, where's the, where's the valve for that one? Uh, oh, there it is. How random. And I'm guessing that. No, okay. <laughs> Thought it was gonna do that stereotypical sealing off the path thing. All right. Well, now that we're in the prison. I think that's a good start, a good spot to wrap up. So, um, I wonder if I can at least hit a lo level trigger. Yep, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so we're close to a level trigger. Let's, there we go. Fantastic. And Nova Prospect. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you guys hanging. Sorry. 
Anyway, that's all for for now. Glad we got the buggy stuff out of the way, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and just break into prison in the next episode. So uh, that's going to be exciting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.